Wow, this seems really unpleasant in like every single way. It's freezing, it's stinky, it's probably itchy, it's cold. Like, I don't know what you guys are thinking, but okay, that's fine if you insist. <laughs> Hello my friends and welcome back to the Nightmare Legacy Challenge. So if you missed it, we literally just restarted my Legacy Challenge. I posted the first episode last week, so I'm gonna link that down below for you. But you really haven't missed much because this is only episode two. And speaking of Nightmare, I think today I'm gonna try to climb Mount Komarebi. In Snowy Escape, there's this whole feature where you can try to climb to the top of the giant mountain. I brought my sims here to this ski resort on like a post-college graduation celebratory trip. And since we came all this way, we may as well just go all out. I have been practicing a little bit. So they've both got level five rock climbing and level six fitness. I've got some rock climbing gear and like some soothing injury balm. And I don't really know if that's enough, but I'm just going to go for it anyway. Okay. I just Googled it and it says the first step is to make sure you have at least level six rock climbing skill. Oh, and I haven't paid my bills. Okay. We're not doing very well. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that I said level six a second ago. I don't normally like to cheat my sim skills, but in this case, I don't think I care. I'm never gonna climb a rock again, okay? This is like a once in a lifetime opportunity. I would also prefer if my sims didn't die on the mountain. I mean, it might be kind of funny if they did, but that would also be very inconvenient. They're both a little bit hungry, so I'm just gonna come try and get them some food, and then I'm gonna get started, because I feel like leaving early is probably the best bet. Oh, I should buy a bunch of these Bolt protein bars. Maybe get some apples too, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure we have food that we can eat while we're on the mountain. I also got some soup. Oh my goodness. This one is trying to climb my monitor. She really, really likes to watch my mouse. I don't know what she's gonna do once we start climbing a mountain. I don't want to give her any ideas. All right, step one. We've got to go up to the top of the ski lift. What are you doing? <laughs> she put her swimsuit on. Okay, so I'm sorry. We aren't gonna use the hot springs today. I actually have other plans. You might want to get dressed. I don't know, just an idea. I don't, I don't think that being out in your swimsuit in this weather is a good plan, but okay, that's fine. The weather's actually not too bad. It's cold, but it's not like snowstormy, which is a win. Work for April starts in about one hour. No, 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 I'm not doing that today. I will be taking a vacation day actually. All right, let's get climbing. So step one, we have to climb this wall. And then to be honest, I don't, um, I don't really remember what comes next. It's been a while. <laughs> this is not tall enough for us to die. So we should be okay climbing this. I think. There are some parts on this journey that we might die from, but I don't think we need to worry about that too much yet. I'm so silly. I forgot to start the mountain climb. <laughs> That's like the whole thing. Okay, I'll be the excursion leader. I probably shouldn't bring anybody that I actually care about. Maybe I'll bring some of those people from college. <laughs> we can invite some of our old roommates. All right, let's try again. Oh my God, I have to wait for them. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> They're not gonna be able to make it. I don't know why I brought these random people with me. Okay, let's move on. It's already getting kind of late in the day because I've kind of fumbled this so bad. Oh no, I'm on the floor. Okay, <laughs> this is no good. Luckily there is a bush and the tent here. Should we woohoo it? No, we shouldn't do that. Not, not the time. Not the time. <laughs> Kayla, stop. I guess we come attempt this climb. The weather's getting kind of bad up here. <laughs> It's not so good at the top of the mountain and we're not even at the top of the mountain yet. Oh, they're just going for it. Are you sure that's safe? I don't even think you've got like stuff for this. <laughs> oh, they made it up. Oh, good. Up we go. The weather kind of calmed down a little bit too, so that should help. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. Uh, they're shoveling snow and making snow angels right now. Is this really the time? <laughs> August is calling. So not the time. So not the time. All right, let's move on. Further up the mountain. Oh. The weather is not good up here. The climb up the Croft Icefall was cold and beautiful. There is room for improvement on that section of the trail. The group's leader has earned the middling mountaineer trait. Wait, really? Oh, these sims have passing knowledge of the climbing route up Mount Komarebi. You know what? I never do this. <laughs> I've never seen that trait before. You can't even see anything. Okay, I wanna light this bonfire. It also wants me to have a sim eat something. So maybe I'll try one of these protein bars that I made. Well, I didn't make it, I bought it. <laughs> I did not make it. In fact, I purchased that protein bar from a vending machine. These girls are just going for it. They're not even worried. This is the one that I think we need to worry about a little bit more. I can chalk my hands. Is that gonna help me? Attempt the climb. You come attempt the climb too. I don't think we'll die. I would be surprised if we died. I would also be really sad if we died. <laughs> but it said minimum level six and we're we're level six. It's fine, right? Is this the giant one that will fall? Um, oh my God, what are you doing? 
doing playing the guitar at a time like this? How could you do that so easily? You have no skill. Oh, the weather kind of calmed down. I'm injured. I'm injured. Oh my god. I want to get a screenshot of my sim climbing the mountain, but I can't really like angle it right. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to see. Oh, she might make it. Oh my god. Okay, maybe you should chalk your hands and then attempt the climb. Oh, April, you can do it. April, 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 you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Oh, okay. <laughs> she made it up. It's fine. Do you want to drink some soup? Jasmine, this is so- Oh my god, you're thinking of trying for a baby? No, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is April's mom. So far, both of April's parents have called us today. Um, I don't think that now is a good time to ask me about this sort of life changing information, but that's fine. It's already 6.30. Oh, we're up. We're up. Okay. How did I- Did you just make two simoleons because they were tipping you for playing the guitar? <laughs> that's so funny. Oh, there is a cave, but the entrance is blocked, so we can't use it today. That's bad. <laughs> Normally, you could rest in the cave. I don't think I've ever seen it iced over like that, but I guess the weather is pretty rough. Are you joking? <laughs> Just, you know what? I'll make the 800 simoleon payment. I'll pay off my student loans from the top of a mountain. That's fine. Dory found a forest spirit. That's lovely, and I'm so glad to see it, but I need to hurry up. Oh, I collected them. The agitated forest spirit seems unhappy when Dory catches it. A strange tinge of magical energy seeps into Dory, filling her with a negative aura. Okay, well, that's great. <laughs> that's gonna help us, huh? Who are you? What are you doing? Stop. Oh my God, Liz, I can't move on because of you. Can I just add her to my family for a second? I'm sorry. I, I don't know what she thinks she's doing playing the guitar. I'm trying to move on. No, not you too. Oh, <laughs> I shouldn't have brought these people with me. Oh, she's got a culinary arts degree. Good for you. Are you playing? You're playing with a soccer ball. Are you actually kidding? Stop, stop, stop. We're gonna run out of time. I'm not gonna make it to the top of the mountain. Move on, move on. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It's fine. Is there more or is that it? I don't remember. I, sh I really should not have brought other Sims. Mount Komorebi Peak! The group reached the peak of Mount Komorebi after conquering the Croft Icefall with grace and style. Everyone is ecstatic. The group can join the exclusive club of Sims who can wear the mountain climbing beanie and bracelet to show off their accomplishment. Oh, <laughs> is that it? A hat? Oh, their leader earned the expert mountaineer trait and a nice plaque to hang on the wall at home. Oh, that's cool. Look at us, we're at the top of the mountain. We gotta come up here. I'm gonna go all the way up to the top. Did I just get paid 300 bucks for that? Oh, well, that's pretty good. I'm gonna get some screenshots of us. Look at this. The way she's on her phone. <laughs> we're climbing the mountain and she's just on her phone. <laughs> well, at least we're not dead. I was really concerned for a second there. When they started falling off the top a bunch, I was like, this is the end. <laughs> We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. But we did make it. Now you have to pee. Don't go home. Don't go home. There's a bush for you. Here, come come use this. Oh, should we woohoo in the bush? Oh my god. Woohooing in the bush at the top of the mountain is actually kind of fun. Liz can like stories. That's fine. Dory, do you want to woohoo in the bush? What if Hazel and Liz got together? What if I made them date each other? Just for fun. It would be nice to have couple friends. Do you want to kiss? Well, the bush is a little bit gross because we did just pee in it. But you know what? That's fine. <laughs> Wow, this seems really unpleasant in like every single way. It's freezing, it's stinky, it's probably itchy, it's cold. Like, I don't know what you guys are thinking, but okay, that's fine if you insist. <laughs> Actually, I was the one who insisted. This was my idea, but okay. It's already midnight. What do we do now? Do I just leave? Like, is that all? We, we just head out then, I guess? <sighs> well, luckily we don't have to go down the mountain. We just had to go up the mountain. I think I'll spend one last night at the hotel and then we can go back home and resume our everyday life tomorrow. <laughs> I wanted to use the sauna, but I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time because it's it's like midnight. Oh, and tomorrow I have to get rid of these other Sims because I added these random people to my household. Here, just drink your soup. You don't need to buy anything. We've got food. You two can come sleep as well. Oh, Liz is still in class. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's getting a fine art degree. So if you missed it, just to catch you back up to speed, we did a whole university let's play and these two sims are like some randoms that we lived with in our first semester. <laughs> we're kind of friends with them, but um, we haven't really talked to them in a while. So apparently we're best friends because we just, we climbed a mountain together. It's good for the story. We could use some friends. We need some like proper adult couple friends. Being here is extremely annoying because I can't triple speed through the night. This is what I get for making a fake hotel. It's like I'm just sleeping on a community lot right now. This place is classed as a spa <laughs> and I'm just sleeping here and our water is cut off too because <laughs> I haven't gone home to pay my bills the whole time. Well what I'm gonna do is just take a quick shower and then come take advantage of the hot springs because we haven't used this yet since we've been here and I spent like three or four nights at this hotel. <laughs> Did you get back out? 
Go. I want some screenshots. Lovely, relaxing images. Oh, we have work today, but not until one. So it might be okay. We should probably go home and I should probably kick out these other people because I don't need to have them in my house anymore. That was purely out of desperation because they kept trying to play the guitar so I couldn't progress on the mountain. Hello, Hazel and Liz. Sorry I didn't give you any money. <laughs> I don't have any for you. Um, Maybe you could come live nearby. Maybe you could live in this house in the same town as me with whoever that is. <laughs> with some random Sam. Okay and I shall bring the rest of us back home. Okay, the other thing that I wanted to do today was adopt a cat. This is like my lifelong goal and the house is already set up for a cat. I've got like a tree and a pet bowl. I've got the litter box. <laughs> I really, 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 really want a cat. So I will, oh, I also have to pay the bills. Oh my God, okay, you start there. <laughs> you pay the bills, you adopt a cat. Hire a service. This is not how you do it. Oh my God, adoption agency, adopt a cat. There we go. All right, we now have way less money. <laughs> so that's no good. What are you? Oh my God. You know, you know how I feel about getting weird looking pets in The Sims. That thing's creepy looking. They're not as creepy looking in real life, but that thing is creepy looking in The Sims. Sprinkles is a little black kitten, which is kind of cute because I have little black kittens. Look at this. This is my little black kitten who is currently in her tiny box. Hi, Sunny. Do you want to say hi to the people? I'm gonna get a cat like you. Oh, maybe maybe I should get a black cat. <laughs> maybe in honor of my sewer cats, I should get a black cat. Okay, I had him bring both just so I could see them both. Look at the little tiny kitten. Look at how cute you are. Oh my god. I think I might want that one. Let me see the other one. This is the potentially weird looking one who actually honestly isn't that weird looking. They always look funnier in their profile pictures. Oh, wait, maybe you are funny. Oh no, what do I do? No, you're not goofy enough. I, I'm sorry. I know what I want. And what I want is this little guy. I want sprinkles. She keeps watching the tiny kitten. <laughs> I know it's like you. What do you think of that? Are you sure? Are you sure you want to adopt this pet? Yes. Grant. Oh, that's it's funny. Ruby, Pepper, Fifi, Squee, Bella, Angel. I don't know what to call it. Wait, that said Maya. Maya is kind of cute. Oh, it said Betty. No, let's call the cat Betty. Oh, we got Dory and April and a little tiny kitten called Betty. My kitten is fascinated by Betty, which is kind of cute. <laughs> you have to pick Betty up and then bring her upstairs because she can't get inside otherwise. The kitten is too small. She doesn't know how to use the stairs. Okay, I will bring her all the way up here. I guess I could just move Betty's food bowl up here too, because then she could just stay upstairs until she ages up, which might be safest for her, considering she is so tiny and small. Do you need anything else? Can she get on the chair? Like, can kittens use the, the chair? I don't even know. Okay, there, I put her food upstairs too. That should be fine. She's so tiny. It's so cute. Maybe I should look in Cass at her too. We can see what her traits are. Okay, she's a little bit goofy looking as well, but this cat is spoiled, talkative, and territorial. Okay. <laughs> Perfect, perfect. I was gonna say she's like my cats, but I, I don't know if I would describe the kittens as territorial. My other cat, Snap, who keeps hissing at my baby kittens, I would describe her as territorial. The kittens just look at her though. They do not interact. Well, I think it would be good if we actually tried to go to work today. Maybe I could try and do some cooking too. Do you wanna make some waffles? Let's make some waffles. But we don't have work for a couple hours, so we can still go in and hopefully make some money. I'm getting a call from a robot right now. <laughs> Okay, get to know that sim better as a friend. That's fine. Oh, and speaking of robots, I really, really, really want to make a servo. <laughs> we made one before, but I couldn't add it to my household and like properly activate it because we were still in the dorms. Oh, she cannot get around the bed. I have not actually tried to do that yet since I built this house. So let's try that again. Craft servo. There we go. I built a non-functional house and didn't even notice until I lived here for days because I was busy going on vacation. <laughs> on the roof, I did put a couple little tiny planter boxes. So I'd kind of like to plant them up there. I would like to add, oh, <laughs> I forgot the adoption guy was still here. His name is Squirrel. Oh, I love him. Oh my God. Can you meet him? Anyway, I'd like to buy like a hot tub or maybe some more decor to put up here on the roof once we have some more money, but we just can't really afford that yet. I love him. Do you wanna be my friend? <laughs> Squirrel, me and you can be friends forever. I really mean that. Okay, well, Dory's gonna have to go to work in a few minutes. Oh, she's eating one of her protein bars. Good, <laughs> keep it up. And April's gonna stay home with the kitten. Oh, look at the little tiny kitty on the rug. It's hanging out with her while she works. Mine is hanging out with me while I work. Sorry, she was kind of tangled in my headphone cord. She's not hanging out with me because she likes me. She's hanging out with me because she likes my computer, but she likes me a little bit too. The computer just kind of wins out. I'd like for them to have a wedding this week. Ooh, okay. <laughs> we can gain fame and money by selling our book to a movie. Silver screen simoleons. Dory's latest novel is burning up the San Myshuno Times bestseller list. The royalties from book sales have provided a steady income, but a fo 
phone call she just received could easily be her most lucrative opportunity yet. A producer from Plum Bob Pictures reached out to express interest in adapting her novel into a blockbuster film. Unfortunately, they insisted that she couldn't retain creative control over the final screenplay. Is it worth sacrificing her artistic freedom? Yeah, I want a hot tub. Ooh, <laughs> we're a one-star celebrity, and I only got 1,800 simoleons from that? I sold my best-selling book rights to make a film and I got $1,800. That is just disrespectful. I deserve better than that. That's not fair. Anyway, I was thinking that we could maybe try to get married on Friday because both of them have work on Saturday, but we are both off on Friday. So we could schedule the wedding for Friday perhaps. And then we can invite all the family and stuff, which might be kind of fun. And I guess we don't really need to go on a honeymoon because I kind of already did that. <laughs> we just spent days on a honeymoon already. I got a little bit ahead of myself there, I fear. Okay, you can eat your waffles then. And then get back to your servo. I want to have a robot friend. This is so important. The motive trials. No, I've learned my lesson. I'm not doing that. They just go there until all their needs go completely down. It's not going to do anything for me. I've never had success with that. <laughs> I don't understand why I keep doing it. But whenever I get a fun call like that, I tend to just like listen and go for it. But I really shouldn't. I really, really shouldn't. When do you work until 8 p.m.? Yeesh. And now we're upset. Who put the trash there? Oh my god, pick this up. Throw that away. Make some chili for dinner. I think what I would like to do on the roof, my goal at least, end game, is I'd like to have a little bar and grill section too on the roof. It'd be kind of fun if we had like maybe a bar and a pizza oven, a hot tub. Okay, my list is getting kind of long, isn't it? <laughs> I guess I don't really have enough space for all of those things. Oh, you know what I could do also? I built this before the new stuff pack came out but we could totally swap these counters out for the new stuff pack counters. Oh, that's burnt. Oh, I didn't even notice. <laughs> Oops. I like them being a little bit more modern. I think that's better. These counters are a little bit more expensive, so I guess that's no good, but it doesn't hurt to have. Oh, and we've got this cool new award from Climbing the Mountain also. Let's put that up. I'm doing all this right now, but like we're gonna have to completely renovate really soon if we wanna have a kid, because we have no space for that. And I don't think I wanna wait that long to have a kid, because we're playing on short lifespan, so we don't have a lot of room. But hurt from sitting with high maintenance trait. Oh my god, of course. <laughs> Of course. It's ghost night at the bar? Oh, maybe I will go. I was planning on staying in, but <laughs> if you tell me it's ghost night, well then I'm down. She's still wearing her swimsuit. I'm sorry, we should probably change really quick. <laughs> Put on some regular clothes, perhaps? And you're wearing your work clothes, which I also don't like. Okay, where's the ghost? I see none. I've been lied to. Oh, <gasps> a ghost! Hello, Tanya. It's so nice to meet you. I don't know why I came here. Coming to a bar is like never fun in The Sims. There's no reason. <laughs> we have absolutely no reason to be here. I should have just stayed in. We've had enough of being out today. We've been gone so much. Maybe I'll just go back. Oh my god, ghost night at the bar. Yeah, singular ghost. Oh wait, never mind. There's more ghosts upstairs. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> I really, I really should just go back. That was a very short-lived excursion. I don't even know why I considered it. Any thought of ghosts just kind of gets me excited. Ignore this. I was trying to fix their fun, okay? They're woohooing. We're gonna go to bed. It's gonna be a lovely evening. And then tomorrow we'll go to work and hopefully make a bunch of money because I want to pay for an expensive wedding. And then we also have to start wedding prep because if we're gonna get married on Friday, we only have today to like buy a wedding cake and pick out flowers and do all of those things. Oh my God, it's the fire toilet. I can't escape it. I forgot that I had upgraded that. Okay, well that's the first toilet fire of the same. That actually might be April's first ever toilet fire because she's from a different family. She's not used to this. Dory knows, like the Bell family has seen many a toilet fire. <laughs> April's from a more um, calm household. This is sort of a new experience for her. And um, if you've maybe never seen one of my legacy videos before, um, yeah, so I have, I have this toilet that spontaneously combusts. It's like a composting upgrade and if you don't use the compost the toilet can bust yeah i i like to call it my fire toilet and i think it's fun also she just threw her cat's poop away in the neighbor's trash can <laughs> there isn't actually a neighbor but we can pretend that we just dumped the litter in the neighbor's trash can oh my god again <laughs> Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. This is gonna be really bad, you guys. I might need to get a second bathroom. I don't know what I'm gonna do. And they're both scared of fire now too. It's not burnt and I can still use it. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know what's going on and I don't wanna know what's going on because this is a good time for us to end the episode. <laughs> Two fires in a row I think is a good stopping point. If we keep going, it'll just keep happening and that seems dangerous. <laughs> so like I said, I'm gonna end the video right here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'm gonna link the first episode down below in case you wanna go back 
and watch it. I introduced The Sims, we got engaged. Lots of stuff goes on on Short Lifespan. You have to move kind of fast, so stay tuned for next week because we're gonna get married, and I'll catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. I can't believe we climbed the mountain. That was so fun. I have not done that in ages. I just never really use the snowy escape stuff.